Sangbunan Badabengosi, thank you so much for joining us this morning in this prayer session. You'd agree with me that we need prayers like never before, especially in this season in our country, and not only in our country, but all over the world. You know that it is part of our custom that, you know, every second week, you know, when we begin the year, we begin the year by prayer and fasting. So this is the week, you know, that has been put aside for prayer and fasting as the church. Last week, this is where we invited everybody to be a part of this. But this one specifically, it focuses on hope restoration ministries. But we also want to welcome those of you who have joined us this morning and then for this session of prayer. But today we have Pastor Mungwai who is going to lead this prayer. And I want to hand over now to Pastor Mungwai. Over to you, Pastor Mungwai, as you lead us in this session of prayer. I know we're going to have a good time. Thank you, sir. Greetings, greetings, uh, Vazalwani. Greetings, viewers at home. Hope Restoration Ministries, so wonderful to be with you this morning as we step into a week of prayer and fasting. We are so excited and thank you, Reverend Esima Tebula, for leading us during this time together, Le Mama, as we continue to pray for the nation, we pray for humanity. If there is a time where we needed prayer, it is now. I tell you, doctors and scientists are doing their part, but we believe that it is only through prayer that we can conquer. Today we're going to pray for the church. We're going to pray for the body of Christ. And before we go into our prayer items, I want to invite you to read with me in the book of Joshua, chapter 1. We'll read several verses and from there we will go into our moment of prayer. The Bible says in Joshua chapter 1, verse 1, After the death of Moses, the Lord's servant, the Lord spoke to Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' assistant. He said, Moses, my servant, is dead. Therefore, the time has come for you to lead these people, the Israelites, across the Jordan River into the land I am giving you. I promise you what I promised Moses. I want you to underline that. I promise you what I promised Moses. Wherever you set foot, you will be on land I have given you. From the Negev wilderness in the south to Lebanon mountains in the north, from the Euphrates River in the east of the Mediterranean Mediterranean Sea in the west, including all the land of the Hittites. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. I want to take that for yourself. Let's take that even on behalf of the body of Christ. No one will be able to stand against you as long as you live. For I will be with you as I was with Moses. I will not fail you or abandon you. Now we go into the portion of scripture we normally read a lot and we love. That is from verse 6. Be strong and courageous. For you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I saw to their ancestors, I would give them. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the instructions Moses gave you. Do not deviate from them, turning either to the right or to the left. Then you will be successful in everything you do. Study this book of instruction continually. Meditate on it day and night, so you will be sure to obey everything written in it. Only then will you prosper and succeed in all you do. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. The Church of Christ, this morning, I want to share with you briefly, before we pray, under a short topic, victorious church we are a victorious church in this time of uncertainty in this time of pain in this time of destruction in this time when other people are looking everywhere else and they see there is no help they must feel that there is a church that is strong and courageous they must feel that there is a church that knows that there is a god who is living and he is powerful we must not be in despair like the world is in despair we must not be discouraged as the world is looking discouraged we are the ones who must show strength we must be the ones who are showing courage and this morning as we pray for the body of christ we must be saying may the church victorious church of god arise during this season may the 
victorious church of God stand and be counted during this season. Now, I picked up about five or six points out of the scripture that we have read. Now, Moses is dead. Joshua must take over and continue leading Israel into the promised land. And when you are reading, you realize that God is promising uh, Joshua several things. While the nation might have been uncertain to say, the man who took us out of Egypt, taking us into Canaan, now is dead. While there might be that pain and uncertainty to say, what is going to happen next? God had a plan. And even now we might be saying, the church of old did certain things. The church of old was more powerful. The church of, of old did different things. I hear God saying this morning, even the church of today can still prevail. Even the church of today can be the Joshua of the time, taking over from Moses and leading the people of South Africa, leading the people of God into a new dimension of, 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 of our direction as, as God wills. Now, we see there that the church of Jesus Christ can be unstoppable. In verse 5, uh, 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 God is saying to Joshua, no one will be able to stand against you as long as I live, as long as you live. I'm here to say to you, we can be unstoppable. We have the power to prevail. We have the power to push forward. We have the power to, 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 to win. We have the power to be successful and be prosperous. We are unstoppable and we must take that by faith from today to say as the church we ought to be unstoppable nothing must stop us nothing can stop us number two god is with us we are a church that is with god here as as god is talking to joshua, uh, joshua and we are taking that for ourselves as the church today he says for i will be with you as i was with moses i will be with you as i was with the church of the old i will be with you as i was with the apostles i will be with you as i was with peter paul and everyone else the same way i was with them i will be with you even in this generation i hear god saying we are a church that shall walk with him that is with him by the way the bible says he will never leave never forsake us the fact that we are in COVID-19 it doesn't mean the church is forsaken by God God is still with us number three we are seeing the promise there still in verse five that we can be a successful church you can also pick that in verse seven verse five says as we we, we close that verse it says I will not fail you or abandon you then verse seven the 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 the, the, the C part of it says then you will be successful in everything you do. Does it mean we shall be successful against COVID-19 as the church? The scripture will promise us that. Shall we be successful as the church even during lockdown? Yes, we shall be successful. We are but a church that shall prevail, that is victorious. Let's look at verse 6. It says, we shall lead. We can become a leading church. For you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I saw their ancestors to their ancestors as I would have given them. Now look at that. The Bible doesn't say the government will lead people out of the distress. It doesn't say the politicians will lead people out of distress, but it says you shall lead my people. God is saying as the body of Christ, we have that responsibility to lead God's people. We are a leading church. We cannot take a seat back and relax and say the government will solve the problem of the time. Now let's look at, at, at point number five. We pick that up in verse nine. We are a faith-based church we are a hopeful church. When everyone is talking negative, when the statistics are against us, we continue knowing that we are a hopeful church. We hope in the living God. We put our trust in God. We put our faith in God. This is what the verse is saying in verse 9. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid and discouraged. Look at that. No fear, no discouragement. Only faith and hope. We must be the ones that are talking messages of hope in the season wherever you are with whoever you are be the one who is spreading message of hope message of faith now let's let's pick the last verse there and we're gonna pray now the last verse is showing us that we are a strong 
and a courageous church. We pick that up in verse 6, verse 7, and verse 9. Three times God is saying unto Joshua, be strong and courageous. Be strong and very courageous. Be strong and courageous. We realize that we must be a strong and courageous church. I'm talking about a victorious church. Let's see, where, where, what does it say? It says, uh, uh, be strong and courageous to lead. We must be a church that is strong and courageous in leading. Number two, we must be a church that is strong and very courageous in studying the word, in meditating on it, in obeying it, in keeping it. Why does God say to Joshua, focus on this? If you look at the battles that were fought by Joshua and you look at what Moses did, you realize that Joshua was to still face more battles. God doesn't say to him, find more swords. Doesn't say to him, find more spears. He doesn't say to him, find or train more soldiers. But he says to him, meditate on this word. Study it. Keep it in your heart. Why is it important to keep the word of God? Why is he not saying to him, find weapons, find soldiers? It is because the word of God is even stronger than the weapons of this world. The word of God is even stronger than the, than the vaccine that is coming as the church of Jesus Christ. We must be standing upon the promises of God. We must be standing upon the promises that are found in the word of God. Even in this season, the word of God promises us better things. The word of God promises us healing. The word of God promises us health. Yes, the scientists must do what they can do. But our role is to keep on the word. Spread the word. Spread the hope. That is a courageous and a strong church that we're going to pray for in this day. I want to invite you. As we're going to pray, we've got several prayer points, but I think we need to start there and say, may we be a, an unstoppable church. May we be a church that is leading, even in these circumstances, while others are dying, we're going to pray that churches will not die, churches will not close down, churches will arise amidst these situations and take their position and fight the battle that God has called us to fight in this season. Come with me, let's pray that the church will arise. The church will be strong. The church will lead even in this time of pain. Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, we thank you this morning. We humble ourselves before your throne. In Jesus' mighty name, we come with confidence before you today, knowing that you are able, knowing that you are alive. We come to the conf with confidence to the throne of grace, knowing your abilities, knowing your strength, knowing your might. We pray, believing that the church shall arise in this season. We pray, believing that the church will stand during this season. We pray that the church shall be the hope of the nation, the hope of many nations. We pray this morning for hope restoration ministries and every church available out there to arise in this season, arising in prayer, arising in hope, arising in faith. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you that the church shall be unstoppable. We thank you that the church shall move forward even in this season. We thank you that the church will not be shaken in the name of Jesus Christ. That even in this morning, those who have been discouraged in different churches, even in our church, you are strengthened in them. You are encouraging them. Your word says David encouraged himself in the Lord. We encourage ourselves this morning in you, in the name of Jesus. We know that when we encourage ourselves in you, we shall overtake the enemy. We shall chase and overtake the enemy. We shall overtake even this COVID-19 through the prayer that we are partaking in. In the name of Jesus Christ, that the churches are rising in Jesus' mighty name. I want to say to you back at home that the Bible says, 
Even the gates of hell, they shall not prevail against this church because it is built upon the rock who is Jesus Christ. Now, this morning, as we continue praying, we're going to pray and take another prayer item that the church must be faith-based. We cannot move or walk by sight nor by feelings. We must walk by faith. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. May we be a faith-centered church in this season, believing in a God who is able, believing in a God who is powerful. A Bible-based church is a faith-based church. Then let's pray that, Lord, may you restore our faith as the church. Faith in you, faith in your abilities. Come pray with me. Let's pray for a faith based church this morning. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that the church will not look to the left, will not look to the right anymore, will not look to the people who are leading only, but the church will look into the heavens. We look up to the heavens to call unto you because you said call unto me. I will answer. I will even show you great and marvelous things that you know not of. And we pray this morning that Lord the church will not walk by fear. You said you've not given us the spirit of fear but of love of power and a sound mind. We pray that we become that church even this morning and globally we become a church that is working by faith for your word says the just shall live by faith we thank you father that you are restoring faith in the church Mudimaka, you are restoring faith in our lives in every believer in every christian that we hold fast to the faith that we profess that we stand upon that faith in the name of jesus christ that every child of God is being restored in faith and we shall lead people through the faith you have given us. We shall lead the nation through the faith that is in us. The faith that tomorrow will be better. The faith that you will turn the impossible into possible. The faith that you will heal our land. The faith that you will turn things around in the name of Jesus Christ. Mighty God, we thank you. Makaraba shikendele base lirila mahano Ndokosia milara handa la basete reke tela basiando lobo saya mike ne mendele basete riko rolo bodo kosaya mine ne rile bendele basete rike tele bo shaka da karila baya mama raba handele basete mudi makari alibuha huru na wari kuncha kalibi chole lebo sula murena Jesus in the name of Jesus now. I, I'm having an impression in my spirit that we ought to also become a repentant church. Many a times we say, I want this from God. God give me that. But we realize that when we read in the book of Chronicles, when it says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and they shall repent. You see, when we repent from our weak, wickedness, when we repent from our sin, the Bible says then that God will hear from heaven and he will heal our land. I believe wherever you are, you believe with me that we need to trust God for, for healing for our land. But the Bible says we must first repent. Then let us go before God and repent on behalf of the church. Repent on behalf of the body of Christ. We have forsaken. Many have forsaken working with God. Many have left God behind. Many are doing their own things. We're going to say, Lord, on behalf of the church, on behalf of the body of Christ, we repent this morning. Come with me. Let's pray. Father, we have sinned against you as the church. Many have moved without you. Many have introduced different things within the church that are not consistent with your word. Many have helped in different ways that are wrong. Some very evil. We pray, Lord, that you'll forgive the body of Christ this morning. You will forgive us as the church in the name of Jesus Christ for walking by sight 
fight over the years for walking by feelings over the years. We pray, oh Lord, that you'll, you'll forgive us this morning. We repent in the name of Jesus Christ for dragging the things of the world into the church, for dragging the things that are evil inside the church. Reba Sokotoro Koshia, Libri Lama Handukiriasa, Limehende Rekeshete, Rebebebebe Sendele Besaya, Rikari Rendele Base, Miri Lebendele Besete, Reketele Bashianda Labaya, Makato Korokosia, Rilimindele Basete, Rekele Mendeketele Basaya, Miri Elendele Besete, Librocotolo Koshianda Labaya, Mama Raba Sanandere Besete, Reketele Besiando Lobosaya, Hilarara Catala Babayete, Hilene Ricando Lobosete, Hilarara Yandele Besaya, have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us as the body of Christ. Show your mercy upon us in the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you are forgiving us even in this season. Oh Lord, as we repent, we know you are healing our land. As we repent, we know you are healing the people of South Africa and the nation at large as well as humanity at large. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for your healing in the land. In Jesus' mighty name, Mudimaka Realebuha. Urwana wa ichwelecha. Kalibi ichwelele butila murana jeso. Rebebe shelebe deko samandere lebe saya. Reketele lebe shindele besete. Rika yada koso tolo bo shanana rilebe ndele besaya. Mama raba baba yende lebe sete. Rikele lebe shindele lebe siandolo bo saya. Raba baba yende koso toro bo shete. Ribebe bebe selere be siandolo bo saya. Raka rire shendele be siamandolo bo saya. Rike bebe be shendere le be sete. Ria de le le be siandolo bo saya. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. And we honor you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We're going to pray that as the body of Christ, we shall stand for truth. When truth has become something that is neglected in our generation, something that is ignored, in our generation, we're going to be a church that says we stand by the truth. The Bible says the Spirit of God, when he is with you, he shall guide you and lead you into all truth. We're going to be a church that is working in the truth of God. Number two, we're going to pray for the church that knows the word and encourages and brings hope in this tough times. We're going to pray for those three. A church that stands on the truth. A church that knows and stands on the word. A church that encourages. A church that is like Barnabas, the son of encouragement, that will go out there to bring encouragement to those who are tired, to those who are weak, to those who are hopeless. We must be that church in these trying times that is speaking and is bringing a voice of hope in our nation. Everywhere you go, there is bad news. You look at the statistics, bad news. You look at the death rate, bad news. You look at people who are dying. Now every day you are hearing of somebody you know who is dead or somebody you know who lost a loved one. We're going to be saying, Lord, in this season, we shall be the ones that are bringing hope in our nation. But we start by standing on the truth. The truth of God, it is his word. And we must know that word and we must take that word to others. Be the son of encouragement wherever you are. Be a Barnabas to those around you. Be a Barnabas even there on that social media. Use that social media to send words of encouragement. This is not a time to be talking negative, to be sending messages of negative negativity. You are the one who must be sending messages of hope. The nation is looking to you. It's looking up to you to bring those messages of hope. I know we've got other pastors that are joining us during this time of prayer. We are saying as the church, we must arise and bring messages of hope. Let's use all these different platforms to bring messages of hope. The same platforms that we thought were evil many years ago, this time we're going to use them meaningfully to change the world. Let's pray together. We stand for the truth. We know the word and we pass that word 
as messages of hope to many. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that we be the church that stands on the truth, that walks with the truth, that has that truth in them, in the name of Jesus Christ. There are many conspiracies around us. There are many messages around us. Others are true. Others are lies. We pray that, Lord, we shall stand upon that which we know is true, truth, which is your word. We, we choose to stand upon your word, even in this season. While there are many confusing messages, we choose to stand upon the word in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word is truth in our lives. Your word brings truth into our lives. It brings light into our lives. It enlightens. May your word enlighten us. May your word enlighten the church in this season, in this time. May you show us what is to come into the near future. May you give us the peep through into the window of tomorrow. Mudimaka as the church through the, the truth of your word. We thank you, Father, that the church will not be shaken because we are standing upon your truth. Mudimaka may be, we be a church that is thirsting Mirimaka for your word, that is thirsting for the truth of your word. May we be the church that is Mirimaka having the desire to walk with your word, to walk in your word, in the name of Jesus Christ. May your word be alive in us. May your word produce strength in us. May your word produce strength even in those who are weak. May your word bring Mirimaka looking hope into our world when it is spoken. May it transform. When it is spoken, may it change. When it's spoken, may it heal. When it is spoken, may it bring change in our nation. In the name of Jesus, even those who are not well, even those who are in that bed lying and not doing well, when this word is spoken, they shall arise and walk. They shall arise and do life again. In the name of Jesus, we proclaim that everyone who shall hear your word even in this season, no matter their condition, we proclaim that they will not die. They shall live. We declare that they shall not die and they shall live. Even anyone that is sitting and listening to this prayer today at their sick bed, we release your word of healing over their lives because your word transforms. Your word knows no barrier. Your word knows no distance. Murimaka, wherever your children are, when they say send that word into any situation, into any environment. May things change in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you that, Lord, you are bringing change in our season, in our generation, through the word. May your word be elevated above any philosophies of men in the church. In the name of Jesus Christ, may your word be elevated above every thinking of men in Jesus' mighty name. Every thought that exalts itself above your word, even in this season. We subject it under the authority of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, your word is alive. Your word is powerful. Your word is sharper than any double sword. It's not your word like hammer that it destroys thrones. It's not your word like fire that wherever it is it consumes that which is not of you. Even today we release your word into our nation. Consume this COVID-19 with your word in Jesus mighty name. Those who are in ICU and they are struggling. Murimaka, they are under ventilation. There is no hope. Murimaka, about their situation. Murimaka, we release your word like hammer to release them from the chains of that sickness, from the chains of that COVID-19. In Jesus' mighty name, no matter the variant, no matter the level, no matter the dimension of COVID-19, no matter the sibling of COVID-19, we believe that your word is powerful. Mudimaka Lukilen to deal with any form of strain of COVID-19. In Jesus' mighty name, we send your word to the discouraged. We send your word to the hopeless. We send your word to the fearing, fearful nation. We send your word even to all those provinces in the rural areas, in the urban areas, in the hospitals, in every corner of South Africa, in every corner of Africa, in every corner of the globe, we send your word as the church today. Come on, stand with me as we send a word of healing throughout the globe 
as a message of hope, as a message of transformation, let's, let's declare and say, we release a word into the nations. We release a word of healing into the nations. We stand against the plans of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Make that declaration. We release healing in our nation. We release progress in our nation. We release favor in our nation. Every agenda of the enemy in this season is nullified in the name of Jesus. No fear here in Jesus' name. We stand against any form of fear in this season. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' name. We're going to go to our next prayer item. Let's keep pushing. There are many who depend on this prayer. Today is the church taking a position. Let's keep pushing. There are many who rely on this prayer this morning. I tell you, in this season, there are pastors who are discouraged. Pastors who are even asking themselves, am I really called by God? Pastors who are saying, is this thing going to come to an end? There is a lot that is happening with those leaders. Therefore, we're going to pray for all pastors that God will sustain them, will make his vision, the, the vision of God, to be clarified in the servants of the Lord who are discouraged even in this time. The vision of God to be revived in the lives of the servants of God even in these times. The vision of God to continue to burn, to bring that passion back into the hearts of the servants of the Lord. While we normally say revival for the church, revival for the, for the saints, revival for the believers, I tell you, pastors also need that revival. In this time, we're going to pray and say, Lord, may you strengthen the pastors, sustain them. May you elevate them in this season. May we be that, that Aaron and Ur in this time to lift up the hands of Moses. May we be that Aaron and Ur in this time to, to be sitting by, by Moses and lift them up in this time. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray for your servants. We pray for the pastors. We pray for the leaders. They carry a lot of strain. Some of them, they've buried their, 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 their members. Some of them have buried their own loved ones. They are going through a lot. Churches, many churches, there is no offering coming in. And they dependent on, dependent on that offering for food to be on their table. There is nothing in their families. Mudimaka, we pray this morning that, Lord, you strengthen them. You elevate them. You lift them up. In Jesus' mighty name. Mudimaka rearapela. Mudimaka tonolo fataba tanka bahao. Mudimaka ba femata. Lena kwa inyajwale. Mudimaka ba febukoni. Lena kwa inyajwale. Above all, we pray that the vision that you've given them many years ago, the same desire they had many years ago, the same passion they had many years ago, may you stay the passion once again. May the vision be clear once again in the name of Jesus Christ. That in this time of discouragement, may they be lifted up by you, O oh God. We pray that you lift them up. You will strengthen them in Jesus' mighty name. Pick them up once again, your servant, so that they can be standing in the gap for their generation, so that they can stand in the gap for this nation. Murimaka, if the Russians, Murimaka, become tired. Murimaka, what will become of our nation? We pray that you lift them up. We pray that you strengthen them. We also pray, Murimaka, for provision into their lives. Murimaka, like you did with your servant Elijah, you sent a raven. Murimaka, you opened a brook to supply you brought a widow to supply. I ask you to do the same in their lives. Murimaka has command a raven to go into that house and your servant be taken care of. Murimaka opened that brook, that water shall be supplied in the life of your servant. In the mighty name of Jesus. Murimaka rapela. That Lord, your servant, they shall be restored by you. Your servants. They shall be refreshed by you like in the days of Samson after the battle. Mudimaka, he said, refresh me, Lord. And your word says your angel, your spirit filled him again. 
refreshed him when Jesus at the mountain after Mudimaka facing the enemy, the devil Mudimaka Lukili and your word says an angel came and ministered to him even in the garden of Gethsemane when all was about to happen your angel came and ministered to him. I pray that you send your angel of ministry to minister in the lives of your servants today. An angel of ministry to refresh the families of your servants today in the name of Jesus Christ. Make a riba sala bahaya. Hili rimene kene mandolose. Liri libia lando kosaya. Jiko ne maria la mandele besa. Zutari la basiando lobo saya. Rubia la koto lobo sete. Makondo kosianda la baya. Reba basindo lobo sa. Kuria la bahande. Zuko noria la masete. Zikindiri libia la manda. Shiko no mando lobo se. Hili riketelele besaya. Kanda la bayande le base. Ribeyende le baso, kotoro koshianda, likararayete, rubia la katalabaya, mararayende le besete, rekete brele basa, zupra la bayende, kirlibiyende le besaya. In the name of Jesus, reale boa Jehova, hurwa itwelecha, ma pilonga batanka bahau. I also pray, Lord, that their spiritual gifts, they shall be refreshed, they shall be revived. They shall be restored as they lay hands on the sick. May the sick recover. May we hear testimonies of COVID-19 healed. Yes, by doctors, but this time by prayer, by the laying on of hands. Mudimaka and Lukilen, considering the COVID regulations, whatever that will be done, that your servants as they pray for the sick with COVID-19, Mudimaka, they shall recover. We pray for such testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name, Mudima Karele Buha, Kalivicho Lelebotela Murena Jesu. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Rele Buha Jehovah. Servants of the Lord, wherever you are, may the good Lord refresh you. May the good Lord empower you once again. May you hear testimonies that will stir up revival in your heart as you pray for those children of God. May you hear of testimonies and may those testimonies be a moment of revival in your life in this season. The Lord shall do it. He shall send that raven into your life as well. And, and you are here, your pastor maybe is not tuned in. That should be your prayer wherever you are. Pray for your pastors every day and say, Lord, refresh them. Lord, give them your spirit every day to pick them up, to lift them up. And they walk in the spirit even this season. I tell you, we're going to go into the next prayer time. I tell you, the devil... No money normally will manipulate during a moment of vulnerability. When people are vulnerable, that's when the enemy will come to manipulate their situation, to take advantage of their situation. While the nation is vulnerable, we're going to pray and say, may the church of Jesus Christ stand strong and not fall into the spirit of manipulation. The spirit of deception can start settling in. When you look around, you realize that many are losing their faith in God. It's because the spirit of deception is starting to settle in the hearts of many. Many are going to backslide in this season. We're going to pray and say those who are backslidden already, those who have no burning passion and desire in their hearts anymore to commit to God, may they stand again. And those who are manipulated by the community, by the leaders of the time, to do wrong things, even churches to do wrong things, manipulated by the leadership of the time, or anyone for that matter. I'm not insinuating anything, but I'm saying, if there's any form of manipulation going on out there, may the church of Jesus Christ stand firm, even at the risk of losing favors, even at the risk of losing support in any form. The church of Jesus Christ must stand firm in this time and not be manipulated not be deceived. Do not be deceived, child of God. You may know somebody who's already backsliding. Let's pray for them. Mention them by name 
in this time. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Mudimaka, we stand against the spirit of deception, the spirit of manipulation that would want to set in and settle in the church. Mudimaka, Nikile, there are many who might be deceived that God is not, that you are not able, that you are not on the throne because of what is happening around many may start thinking and formulating wrong doctrines that you are punishing humanity we know you as a god of love we know you as a god who cares we know you as a god who is alive we know you as a god who is the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end you will still be there after all is gone after all is finished you will still be standing on the throne you are a well able God. You are a well powerful God. You are the almighty God. We pray that many who are already deceived, they shall have a revelation of who you are. We pray for the spirit of revelation in the church, even in this time. A revelation that you are alive. A revelation that you are God. A revelation that you are powerful. A, a revelation that you are mighty in the name of Jesus Christ. Even those who are backslidden, Baba William Mohawung, Rabba Rapella Jehovah, may you restore everyone to their position as your children. We speak revival in the life of a child of God. We ask for the spirit of discernment in the life of a child of God. We pray for the spirit of discernment in every child of God to discern against good and bad, to discern against goodness and evil in the name of Jesus Christ. That your children will see the, the schemes of the enemy and be able to pray against those schemes in the mighty name of Jesus. That the manipulation that may come with the leaders of the time, the manipulation that may come with those around us will not work. Even as vaccine will be out, Murimaka will still stand as the church that if there be any evil agenda behind it, we stand against it and we shall not be manipulated in the name of Jesus Christ. Murimaka, we pray that Lord, everything that shall take place in this season, in this time, it shall be, Murimaka, within your will, within your plans, the vaccine that will come starting with the front, uh, front line workers, it shall be the right one, no evil agenda behind it. In the name of Jesus Christ, we stand against the plans of the enemy to try to manipulate the situation in his favor, to try to deceive others in his favor. We pray that the enemy will not win with any agenda in this time. We pray, Lord, that even our leaders will not be manipulated by other nations in this time to sell your nation into wrong things. Mudimaka, they will stand firm in this time. Mudimaka, even the vaccines that will come will make our people to live, will make our people to Mudimaka, arise and Mudimaka, be victorious in this season, in this time, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you. We, we keep pushing. We have about 19 minutes towards our ending. Let's keep pushing. We have a few more prayer attempts to keep praying and do not lose heart, child of God. Many are depending on this prayer. We're going to pray for the Christian principles, for the Christian values to continue standing, not to die in the church. What are those values? Life of purity must not fade in these circumstances. While you are staying at home, while you may not have a lot to do, may life of purity not die during this season. Many might be dragged into pornography. Many might be dragged into doing wrong things, into evil. I'm here to say to you, let's pray for the life of purity as one of the values that must never die in the body of Christ, Christ during this season. The church that shall walk by faith, it's a principle that we must keep even in this season. Let's pray for that. The spirit of giving, the spirit of tithing, may that not die. Do not allow the situation to steal these values from us. The spirit of prayer, a prayerful church must not die in this season. We must continue praying steadfastly, praying without ceasing, even in this season, in this generation. Are you ready for that one? Let's pray for the right principles and values, Christian principles and values not to die down, not to be lost 
in this time. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, mighty God, we thank you. That you've given us the right principles, studying of the word, standing in the faith, walking by faith, a life of purity. You said in your word, be you holy, for I am holy. Mudimaka, we will keep that command, commandment even in this season. We shall walk in purity. We shall keep the fruit of the spirit even in this season. We shall walk in the spirit even in this season. Mudimaka, we pray for a church that shall not lose her values, that shall not lose her principles because of what is happening around. We pray, Lord, that will be a church that keeps those values in the name of Jesus Christ. Mudimaka, retouche. This velus in Jesus' mighty name. May we walk in this velus in Jesus' name. May Koroko Siande, Le Probo Samande Le Besaya, La Baba Siando Lobosete, Reketele Basiando Lobosaya, Makatala Labayende, Reprecetele Besiando Lobosete, Reketere Sianda Labosaya, La Prolobo Dobosete. May we remain to be a giving church. May we remain to be a praying church. May we be a church that remains in faith, remains in the spirit. Even when things are going wrong around us or against us, may we keep the principles that matter. Even after this COVID-19, may we restore our value of fellowship. According to Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, that we shall continue in the habit of gathering in Jesus' mighty name. We shall not lose that value while we are enjoying the benefit of social media and technology at this time. But we will know to keep even the value of gatherings after the COVID-19 has gone or at levels are at levels that are agreeing. Mudimaka, in the name of Jesus, we thank you that Lord you will help us as your church not to lose our values in the mighty name of Jesus. Marco Rabashiande, Lebre Kele Mando Lobosaya, Miketele Lebesende, Ilebre Coloco Sianda Labaya, Mila Prala Bada Cosete, Reketele Lebeyende Lebesete, Rikele Lebesaya, Mama Rabayende Lebesete, Curibia Labando Lobosaya, Mimele Lebende Lebesete, Mimile Bendo Cosia Dacaya, Rala Labada Cosiande Lebesete, Libro Lobodobosia Bada Lamande Lebesaya, Raba Baba Bayende Lebesete, Raba Baba Siando Lobosaya, Raba Baba Yende Lebesete, Curibia Le Condo Lobosete, Mimere Lemende Lebesia, Ilamanda Labayende Lebesia, Cariando Lose, Lirende Lebesiando Lobosianda Labayete. Mako toko sianda la baya, raka tala bayendele basaya, raba yanda la basiandele besete. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, back at home, I want you to commit for yourself as well and make a commitment to say there is this value that I was starting to forsake. I'm going to restore this value. There is particular value that I was starting to forsake or I had forsaken it already and commit and say from today, I'm restoring this value. I will be praying for you now as you pray for yourself and saying, Lord, help me to restore this particular value that I had left behind. As you are there at home, pray for yourself. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus Christ. I, I pray for your children. There is that one who had started walking away from holiness. May you forgive them and restore them, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we are your people. And when we repent, you've always embraced us. When we come back like the prodigal son, you've always embraced us in the name of Jesus Christ. Mudimaka, there's my brother, my sister. Mudimaka, who has forsaken the faith. And Mudimaka is walking in fear in this time. Mudimaka, may you restore faith in her life. May you restore faith in his life. Mudimaka, I pray for my brother, my sister, who is there at home, who had forsaken the study of the word. Mudimaka, may you help them to be back into the study of the word in this season. In the name of Jesus Christ, there is one who is struggling in the area of giving, especially when there is no gathering, when there is no one to collect that offering. Mudimaka, somebody might be saying, I will no longer do this, I will do it when the church is open. I pray for them. I pray for my brother, my sister, my father, my mother. Mudimaka, to restore the spirit of giving in the name of Jesus Christ to use different platforms that are available according to standards of different churches. Mudimaka, to continue in the spirit of giving in this season 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. And I want to beseech you, brethren, especially in the area of giving. You may be saying, I'm not a church. How am I going to give? In different churches, there are different ways to give. Just make time every Sunday or every week. Set time apart and say, Lord, here's my giving. I trust you for one, two, three. I trust you for healing of my community. I trust you for healing of my nation. I trust you for healing of the, of the, of the, of the, of the nation, of the nations. I trust you for employment out there. People have lost jobs. We must continue trusting God in those areas. While we are praying, while we are believing, let's also extend our giving, especially in the body of Christ in this season. Amen. Now let's pray. Two more to go and we shall be wrapping up just now. Let's keep pushing. We have about 10 minutes and we'll be done. We pray for spirit of servanthood in all workers and the, ten the tenacity to stray through to their commitment throughout the year. This connect to the, f to the one we just prayed for now, to say, may we be showing the spirit of servanthood even in this time. Whenever you know of somebody that is not well in your area, extend a hand while observing COVID-19 protocols. When you know somebody has no food, extend that hand, helping hand in this season. When you know a family has lost a job, extend a helping hand to that particular family. The spirit of servanthood, tenacity, the ability to stand amidst it all, that even when churches are opening, servants will be back and serving in churches. May we not start from zero when churches are allowed to gather again. May churches, after all is said and done, and we have won against COVID-19, may we not start, start from zero. Those who have been serving, may they continue serving even at a new level of passion and commitment. And those who are not serving all along, may they also commit and say, I'm going to commit. Make that commitment back at home. You've never served in church for a while. Because of disappointments, because of discouragement, because of how you were treated, make that commitment to say, when church opens, I'm going to serve once again. Nothing's going to deter me. No one will deter me. Whether they are saying thank you or not, I'm going to continue serving. Come with me. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mudimaka, we pray for the spirit of servanthood in the lives of your children. Even in this season, Mudimaka, Lukileng, those who are discouraged, may we will restore Mudimaka, their passion to serve once again. Those who never served before, may you restore Mudimaka, something in them. Mudimaka, the passion to commit to serve. As I pray, I trust Lord, they are making that commitment that going forward, they're going to serve in different churches where they are Mudimaka positioned in the name of Jesus Christ. Mudimaka, we pray that Lord, as the church reopens, even those who are discouraged, those who are disappointed, those who are hurt by the church, Mudimaka, they will recommit once again to serve again. Those who are hurting others will also make a commitment not to hurt others anymore. In the name of Jesus Christ, amidst the hurting that normally happens in the church, Mudimaka, we pray for a church that will serve nonetheless, that will be passionate nonetheless, that will be committed nonetheless, in the name of Jesus Christ. Mudimaka, Realeboha, that Lord, you are raising an army that will fight in the battle even while bleeding, that will will be in the battlefield even when they're discouraged. That will be in the battlefield even when they see, maybe seeing that the battle is not going in their favor, but they will keep fighting in the name of Jesus Christ. A church that is selfless, a church that is sacrificial, a church that is committed, a church that is steadfast as we rebuild. Murimaka Likileng, our nation in this season, as we rebuild and we are committing to rebuild, may you raise an army that is having a heart of servant wood in the name of Jesus Christ. We are trusting you for a church, Murimaka, that shall commit to serve amidst circumstances in Jesus' mighty name. Raise many that will commit in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you and we honor you in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Lord. Back at home, I, I'm, gonna, I'm going to, I'm going to beseech you again, brethren, to make that commitment to say this year and beyond, I'm going to serve. You know different areas in the ministry. If you're not serving before, commit. You can even write there eh, on, on, that, on that chat box and say on YouTube, on Facebook, wherever, Instagram, wherever you are watching and say, this year and beyond, 
I'm committing to serve in this area. I'm going to become an usher this year. Can, can that be your commitment? Not even a resolution, a commitment from this year and beyond. I'm going to serve in this area. I'm going to be a steward at church. I'm going to sing at church. If you can sing, of course, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. You need to make that call. You've got that skill that the church can do with. You've got that skill that the body of Christ can be successful with. Be, be making that commitment. May, maybe I speak a blessing as, as you are making that commitment to say, may, may as you commit, may the Lord Lord help you to add value in that area. May the, the Lord help you to bring change in that area in the name of Jesus Christ. They are committing others, they are committing to self, others are committing to their loved ones as we pray. Others will make commitment to the leaders at church as we, we, we pray. May they keep those commitments. I ask that as they serve, as they commit to serve, Mudimaka, your spirit, Mudimaka will lead them in service. Your spirit will rest upon their hearts in service. Your spirit, Mudimaka Likilen, will stay their service. Your spirit, Mudimaka Likilen, will empower their service. Mudimaka Likilen, we thank you that your spirit will fuel their service, their commitment in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we thank you and we honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Now, we are going for our last prayer item. And as soon as I'm done, in the next four minutes, I'm going to hand over to Reverend S.C. Matebula, who's going to wrap up for us. Hallelujah. This is our last one. Let's push it. We prayed for pastors and nationally and globally, but I want us to make a special prayer of dedication, dedicating our, our, our pastors, the, the, the visionaries of Hope Restoration Ministries. I want us to just do that. You may be from another church. And, and just support us in there as well. And you can also be praying for the visionary of your church in this moment. Let's pray that God will sustain them. God will bring sustenance into their lives. Wisdom and the favor of God in their lives to fulfill God's will in this generation. For God to elevate them as they serve in this season. For God to surround them with men and women of passion, men and women of integrity, men and women who are spirit-led, spirit-filled in this season. Can we pray together for the visionaries of Hope Restoration Ministries? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you that even at this time, you presented this nation with a lovely couple that is passionate to serve you. The Matebulas, Mudimaka, we bring them before you. We pray for Reverend S.C. Matebula and Pastor P.A. Matebula. This morning, we ask, Lord, you empower them. You fill them with your spirit. We pray that, Lord, you will elevate them above the frustrations of this season. But, Lord, position them in Mudimaka opportunities of influence, influencing the nation in the right direction. Mudimaka, we pray, Mudimaka, even for other visionaries out there to stand up and be counted in this season. We pray, Lord, for the Matebula family that you will empower them, that you will fill them with your spirit as they remain humble, you'll continue exalting them. As they remain humble, you'll continue positioning them to impact, con uh, positioning them to inspire in the name of Jesus Christ. That in your presence, there are times of refreshing. May you refresh them in this season. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as you continue leading them, may you elevate them into dimensions and tapped into uncharted waters. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mudimaka, may they pave a way for the next generation in Jesus' mighty name. We also pray for their children in this time, in this season. Mudimaka, we stand against an idea that Mudimaka, the children of the pastors, they shall not succeed. They shall be evil. Mudimaka, we say the children of the pastors, even in this season, they shall stand firm to these convictions that they have taken. That is saving you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I've done my part, and I tell you, child of God, our nation is no longer the same with that prayer. 
things are changing the atmosphere. Our nation is changing the atmosphere. We are meeting again at 6 o'clock this evening. We're going to have a lovely time of prayer. Throughout the day, we are praying for the church, the body of Christ. The prayer items will be available on social media, or you have received them through your email if you're already on Anatomy. May the good Lord bless you, and we love you. Back to you, Pastor Matebula. We love you. Amen. Well, thank you, Dr. Mungwai, for leading us, you know, in a wonderful way. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I know, children of God, you are so blessed. You are so encouraged. And you'd realize that we needed this prayer. And please, don't be discouraged. We continue to soldier on, you know, for the sake of this nation and our community. Let me tell you, we continue this evening. Once again, Dr. Mungwai will be coming this evening and lead us, you know, in this session of prayer. Six o'clock. Listen to me, child of God, let us be here once again and let's pray for the sake of our nation. I know it's going to be a good one. We're going to see you this evening. God bless you. Amen and amen.
I'm 